Grace King on that story. 58 year old Nikki Sutton of Morristown is set to die in the electric chair in less than three hours. He's been on death row since 1986 for killing a fellow inmate. Sutton was already in prison serving a life sentence for three murders. WBIR 10 News reporter Jim Matheny is live in Nashville with the very latest on these final hours before Nikki Sutton's execution. Jim. Hey Robin and John. Well, where we are right now is just outside the gate of the Riverbend Maximum Security Institution. And this is a designated area for protesters. Not really any protesters here now. The weather may have something to do with that. It is very cold outside. But, you know, a wide range of voices throughout this process have actually asked the state to spare Nikki Sutton, including some former prison guards and some relatives of his victims. But now as for how Sutton got to this point to begin with, going back to 1979, Sutton murdered three people, including his grandmother. That's what landed him in prison for life. But the reason he is set for execution is he murdered a fellow inmate back in 1985. Now, Amy Cook, she's the sister of one of Sutton's victims back in 79, and she says this execution is long overdue. I'm just ready for it to be over with. I'm fine with him. Um, it doesn't sound very Christian of me, but I'm fine with him being executed. Now, Cook is at the prison for the execution tonight. However, she's not really going to be able to witness it in person. That's because her brother's case is not what sent Nikki Sutton to death row, but she is here. She's going to be just over uh, down the hall or maybe the next room over. Now, someone who is going to witness this execution is our John North. He is one of the state's official media witnesses. Now, he's already gone inside the prison, but just before he left to go inside, we spoke to him about this process. It won't be until about 6.45 that they'll finally lead us into the viewing chamber, which is right off the death chamber. We will sit there probably, if it's like last time, we'll sit there in the dark for 20 or 25 minutes. They'll bring the inmate in, seat him. We'll be able to hear that at some point because they'll turn the audio on. And then they'll lift the curtain and we will see Nick Sutton. You said like the one before, you previously witnessed the execution of Billy Ray Eyrick. That was a lethal injection. Uh, this is going to be a, a, a different process. And this is what, your second time witnessing an execution? This is the second one and, and it's definitely going to be very different. You know, it, it, when you go through the injection process, you're watching people essentially get shots. Now they're about to die, but they're taking medication that's going to uh, slowly put them to sleep and kill them. So there's sort of a different mindset. This is going to be watching an inmate strapped down uh, with salt water poured over his head and then a hood placed over his head and then they're going to give him a couple jolts. It's a completely different thing and, and people react differently sometimes to that. Well, just for you personally, I mean, the, this is you are an official state witness and I mean, this is not a normal thing, even though you've done it before to go say, I'm going to go watch someone die. The, the state is going to kill someone for this. How, how do you just mentally prepare for this as well? That's a great question. I think you just have to come to a place in your head where you're, you're being a professional and you're doing your job. What I want to do, what I hope to do, what I tried to do last time was focus very hard on taking notes, paying attention to what's happening, everything around me, observing everything, and just concentrate on that moment and try very hard not to get emotionally involved in the fact that I'm watching somebody presumably die. Now the state says Nikki Sutton has received his last meal. Uh, his execution set for 7 o'clock here in Nashville. That's 8 o'clock Eastern time. We're going to have coverage throughout the night, including hearing from John North after the execution. But for now, we'll send it back to you.